So we have a cube of side length one meter. And what you see in the picture are some electric field vectors through the faces of the cube. Okay. So what does what does this mean? For example, this face, the bottom face, sorry, this face, the bottom face, has a flux of 15 newton per coulomb into the volume and on the other hand for example this phase this one has an electric field vector out of the page which is 25 newton per coulomb so like this all faces are shown with electric fields on the surfaces and all these electric field values on the surfaces for each surface it's a constant uniform value so for example for this phase the electric field vector is 20 newtons per coulomb which is the same every point at every point on this phase and into the volume so the question is uh, what is the total flux electric field flux through this cube of volume one meter cube okay so what is the flux total flux in terms of uh, of course newton meter square divided by coulomb so in fact uh, it's very easy because you know uh, since the electric field vectors are uniform for each surface but this does not mean that the electric field vector is uniform through the entire the space because it has different values. We can <coughs> immediately start finding the total flux by just, you know, uh, adding all fluxes through each surfaces. So that we have uh, uh, six surfaces, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, and phi four five 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 and five six and let's pick up uh, this flux as phi one since through this surface the electric field vector is out of the volume that will contribute a positive flux and what is the flux the electric field strength the perpendicular electric field strength on the surface multiplied by the surface area so but you know surface area for each face is just one meter square i will just uh, you know write down the electric field uh, strength for uh, each flux for example for this one 20 newton per coulomb multiplied by one meter square so i will just write as a positive flux to plus 25 just uh, ignore uh, the units at the moment uh, i will put the unit at the end the 25 plus well I, we don't know the pl plus or minus here uh, phi 2 and uh, we associated phi 2 flux 2 to this surface this one the parallel surface to this one so again it's a electric field out of the su surface and it is 20 newton per coulomb so I add 20 next let me uh, take phi 3 as this face and the electric field is out of the volume so that's contribute plus the electric field strength is 10 and let's, let's take uh, phi 4, the fourth phase, this one. But the electric field through this phase is into the volume. So I should say I must take this as minus. Minus 10. Because the electric field is into the volume. So the rule is whenever the electric field is into a closed volume, that contributes a negative flux 
whenever the electric field uh, is out of this volume, uh, the electric field flux will contribute as positive. So we have two more phases, five and six, and let's choose the fifth uh, phase as this one, the bottom phase. And the electric field into, so it contributes to negative flux, minus 15. And also the parallel uh, phase to this one, which is this one, the last phase, which is the top phase. And the electric field is again into the volume, so it contributes as negative 20. So just add them all. Uh, this will cancel out this one and this will cancel out this one and plus 25 minus 15 makes 10 so it is 10 newton meter square divided by coulomb so this is the total uh, net flux through this cube which is a size uh, side length one meters well what does that what does that mean that means that uh, the cube of this volume consists of some charges because it's it's a non-zero flux and the net charge of all these charges inside the volume must be plus because the flux is plus okay so the flux is plus but uh, it is obvious that these charges are you know these charges this charge cannot be a single charge otherwise <clears throat> if it will be, if it, it will be a single charge then in that case, all faces would have a positive flux, okay? And obviously, it has some, you know, collection of charges. And for example, the bottom face, the charges near the bottom face, obviously, uh, dominates as negative. Similarly, the uh, charges near to this top face um, dominates as negative charges because the fluxes are all into these, uh, through these faces. And similar to this one but what about this phase this phase the charges which are close to this phase dominates as positive charges because the flux through this phase is negative uh, positive and similarly this one and this one the charges near these faces should be uh, positive so that's it well if you want to you know ask an, ex, uh, an additional question that okay since we know what the flux through this cube of volume net flux can we guess uh, the net charges encapsulated by this cube of course by using the Gauss's law the Gauss's law it says that a flux through a, a closed surface must be equal to the net charges inside the volume divided by epsilon zero okay so we already calculated what the total flux it is 10 newton meter square per, per coulomb so let's just write this 10 and by just you know solving this equation for charges it is 10 epsilon zero well, if you put uh, the units, correct units for epsilon zero and the unit for uh, this Newton meter square per coulomb, you will get uh, uh, the unit at the end coulomb, of course, because it is a charge. All right, that's it.